right, Shalom Rastafari. Ine Wendem Yadon. I am Ras Yadinos Tefari or Ras Ayadonis Tefara to those in the Angles, right, in English, right, or the English pronunciation. Now, we're going to speak about the point that we began off actually focus, focusing this series, this brief series on, because of some of the um, tribulation and persecutions for the word. We turn to the word for overcoming and not being by and by stumbling, not being by and by offending. All right? All right, so we've touched on so far Lich, right, where he says, unless ye be what converted and become and become as, right, this little child. He brought a little child, as it says right here, right? He brought a little child. He set him forth in the midst, right? And he says, that's our example. He says, being as a little child, and you can read the autobiography of his imperial majesty, and you can see that example for us, both in his character as well as his learning. You notice when he learned the Gutters and the Amharic, Yovasan, and he wasn't brought up with undue softness, like nobody want to tell you the truth. You understand? Or they tell you, you get offended. Yovasan, bad child. Bad child. You see the children of obedience, the, 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 the Shema, right? And there's children of disobedience, you understand, that might hear, but they're not going to do. We're to be children of obedience. Those who say, Shema Yisrael, Yahweh Eloheinu, Yahweh Ahad. Those of us who recognize that Yeshua HaMoshiach is the Bain Ha Elohim Hu. Hu means he in the Hebrew, or Hu Wa if someone want to go a little bit deeper right there. But now, this is the discipline. Now, in the Schofield, chapter 18 at verse 15 has a subscription. That subscription says, discipline in the future church. Right? Remember Christ said that he will build his own church, you know what I'm saying, based on, on being a so-called chip off of the old block or, or, or that being that small stone from that big stone, and that means it's of the same crystalline structure. You know what I'm saying? It's of the same structure. That means it must be in the same instruction. You know what I'm saying? The same instruction. And then we can have construction. You know what I'm saying? And not be dealing with the opposite, which is destruction for I and I. You know what I'm saying? The world is going its own way, but we have to be in the world, not of the world. And we become as little children. We enter into the Mengishta Samayat. The Mangishta Samayat is the sphere, you understand, of, of Rastafari profession or profession or the sphere of true Christ man, Meshi, Meshahawiyan, Messiahites, anointed ones. All right? We're anointed. You know when Christ said that, they, they said that there was first the baptism in the water, right? Then there was the baptism in spirit, you understand? And finally there's that baptism in fire. Well, that's a Rastafari. You know, we say, I and I, God is a consuming fire, right? Now, the word, if you need a word for it, go to Hebrews. Hebrews, Hebrews tell us that, and we know we are Ethiopian Hebrews. You understand? In the natural. You understand? But the natural by itself is not good enough. You understand? Because many of the natural people, you understand, though he came to, to his own, and what? His own, not all of them, but too many of them, refused him. You know what I'm saying? He came to his own, and his own refused him. So in Hebrews chapter 12, 29, right, it says, For our God, right, our Jah, Eloheinu, right, Amlakachin or Amlakine, is a consuming, a consuming fire is a consuming fire. Now notice this right here before we get into the discipline. The discipline in the future church, and that time it was future, and I and I time is ahun, ahun. It is now, my brothers and sisters. In Hebrews chapter, um, chapter 20, 29, right, chapter 29, chapter 29, excuse me, chapter, chapter 12, right, verse 25 to 29. Verse 25 to 29 is a subscription saying warnings and instructions. 
warnings and instructions. Those are the Schofield Study Bible. Go to the LOJsociety.org page. Go to the study page, and you can download a PDF and use it on your a mobile or your computer, laptop, or whatever other kind of digital device, right? Um, but it's good to get a hard copy, you understand, of this as, as well, right? Because we shouldn't deep end on the Internet and this technology, seeing that we're in these days and time, but use it wisely and redeem the time because the days are kufu, the days are evil. In verse 25 of chapter 12, it says, see, see, like we say, sight, you understand sight, so see that ye refuse not him that speaketh. See that you don't refuse the one who is speaking, right? For if they escape not who refuse him that spake on earth, much more shall not we escape if we turn away from him that speaketh from heaven. That we turn away one who speaketh from heaven. Now, now, in the spiritual sense or the Christological sense, remember the kingdom of heaven. You understand, one who is speaking from God's instruction, from, from God's word. Though we may be on earth, we are in the kingdom, the, the government, the rulership. You understand? What we bind on earth, we bind in heaven. What we loose on earth, we loose in heaven. You understand? So great power he has given us in the Son, in Yeshua HaMoshiach. He said, all power has been given to me in heaven and earth. You know, in him and through him. Yes, there is the evildoers. There are the forces. You know, but when we are born again, we come from under that. We come from out of that. You know, and we overcome that by his way, the truth and the life. Right? Verse 26, it says, whose voice then shook the earth. Whose voice then shook the earth. But now he has promised, saying, yet once more I shake not the earth only, but also heaven. Now, we're living in times right now, the Nibiru, the, the Simantanyal, um, she, uh, uh, Koket, you understand, the star of the eighth millennium, whether you call it Nibiru, whether you call it Planet X, whether you call it Black Star, as it was first called, or now they say brown, they call it brown. Now, I'm not black, I'm brown. They don't call it the Black Star no more. They call it the Brown Dwarf Star, all right? They said that, you know, not they said, but everything said that we're going, you know, this, 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 is, this is now. That we're moving into now time, especially after that prophetical hour is being fulfilled. You understand? We're in this time of this prophetical hour as we're coming into 2013. You understand? So we have to redeem the time. And so we have to be able to overcome these, you know, these disputes or these situations that arise among brethren and sisters by his word and see who is willing to make their wills obedient to his good influence and whoever doesn't want to let them get lost. You understand? For real. Now, verse 27 says, because they're already lost. You understand? They've already come to this and don't want to receive it. They hail Haile Selassie, but don't want to check for his word, period. You understand? They either could go and try to, yeah, but, but you check for his word. Verse 27, and this word, and this word, yet once more signifieth the removing of those things that are shaken, as of things that are made, that those things which cannot be shaken may remain. You understand? Because many are shaken by the word, because they, they, they have to purge out that old man. You understand? Because when that's purged out by that word, then the real unshakable, you understand? Just like the unshakable stars. You understand? Remain. They cannot be shaken. Verse 28, it says, Wherefore, we receiving a kingdom. What have we Kabbalah? What have we Mechabel in Rastafarian truth? A kingdom. A kingdom. But we can't operate if we're ignorant of it or we don't have the Amen, the faith. Right? Which cannot be moved. This kingdom cannot be moved. The kingdom of the King of Kings and His Christ cannot be moved. What you saw in Ethiopia in 74 and 75 was the careless Ethiopian refuse it. And what you see among Rastafari universally, Kahulumbelai, is that we have received a kingdom, a, a Mengish, which cannot be moved. Let us have grace. Ah, oh, what a word. Let us have grace. You understand? Don't be like the devil. Don't be like Satan. Don't fall from grace. But let us have, make I and I have grace. And I'm not talking about what you say over your prayers or your meal or whatever. No, I'm talking about grace. 
whereby we may serve. Wow. Let us have grace whereby we may serve God, that we may serve Egezi Ave Herlotu Sibhat, that we may serve Jah, if you please, acceptably. Wow, acceptably, acceptably with what reverence, check out that word reverence, it links with tefari, right? With reverence and godly fear, right? And godly fear, Yoruz, for our God is a what? Consuming fire, a consuming fire. Overs. Now notice that the herb cannot be shaken because in the burning bush, yes, in the bush was burning, but it wasn't consumed. And that was still the consuming fire. So we see that these are unshakable things when received, you know what I'm saying, in his order. But this is the key verse right here, verse 28. It says, wherefore, we receiving a kingdom. We are receiving a kingdom, you know what I'm saying, which is our divine heritage, a kingdom which cannot be moved. Let us have grace. As a prerequisite, we need to have grace. See, and, and when one don't know the teaching of his majesty, therefore they don't receive the Bible, they don't receive Yeshua HaMoshiach in truth, they don't receive his uh, Ritua Haimanot, the true Tawahid of faith, then they're not going to know about grace. You understand? So therefore they cannot serve Jah acceptably. You understand? In their eyes it seems right. You understand? Know but the word and the spirit, Spirit and truth does not bear witness to it. But it says, let us make I and I have grace, whereby we, I and I and I, may serve God, Jah, right, acceptably, in an acceptable way, not in an unacceptable way, with reverence and godly fear. Let me, let me just get this much off to do right here. I want to look up this verse. I, I, I need to just get a fuller full a fuller clarity on this, just to see if what I'm reading in the English, right, in King James, you understand, is one and the same with the King of Kings. So we know the King of Kings is the higher king, right? But verse, uh, what was it, verse, um, verse uh, tw chapter 12, right, chapter 12 at verse 28, whether Ibrawiyan, Hebrews, those who cross over from low degrees from the world to the kingdom to high degrees, that's what we are, Ibrawiyan, right? It says right here, it says, Selezi, Yemai Nawitin Mengisht, Selemina Kebel, because we receive Selemin Kebel. You understand? It says, Be Mak. The Makberna, the Makberna, the Ferhat, in honor, reverence there, that, that's what was different, reverence there would be Makber, Makber, right? Makber means kub, the kub, like the kubr and the guest, in honor. That means we must be honorable to the king first and foremostly, then to our brother man, you understand, know and then to the community. You understand? For real, scouts oath. The makberna, the ferhat, the ferhat, you understand? Ferha, feriha, ferhat, like tesferif, the ferhat. Egziabi herin, des ia senyen, yemina melik betin sega, right? In the yaz, in the yaz, let us, let us, let us, um, let us seize Yamina Yamina Malikabatin um to, to worship, right? Right? To worship, to worship. You understand? That's the that's the key word there for, for worship. We're not talking about prayer. Prayer is an aspect of worship. We're not talking about supplication, that's an aspect of worship. You understand? Or or intercession, all the aspects of this worship. You understand? Worship is is, is, is the inclusive thing. In other words, you're your 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 cello takes place in the state of worshipfulness. What is worth you know, it's what is Jah worth to you? You understand? Know what, what is Jah worth to you? Unless Jah is worth more than even what you think your life is, then you telling Jah that he is worth less. He's worth less than something else. And remember, he gave us all of this to begin with. Am la kachin, am la kachin verse kuter Right? 
No, we're not. In other words, it is in truth, it says, Ba'ilnet, right? Amlakachin, our God, Eloheinu, our source. Ba'ilnet, in truth, Yemiyat Effa, Isat, a fire that consumes. In other words, it's not eating up, but it's a fire that eats up. No, we're not. For he is. For he is. So please, think about that right there. And, you know, let me just go right here. Chapter, chapter 19. Psalms. Let's go to Psalms chapter 19. Right? Chapter 19. I hope the item is learning from this and enjoying this and can also communicate the essence and the truth of this to others who are willing to hear. In chapter 19, verse 14, 1914. That was a good year, right? 1914, it says, verse 14 of Psalms, Mesmur of Dawid, it says, Let or make the words of my mouth, see, word, sound, and power, right? Make the words of my mouth and the meditation, or as Rastafari says, the meditation, right, of my heart, Right, which is really by Marina Masa, it's the thoughts, the thinking of my heart, what I think in my consciousness, you know, what I think in that heart chakra, right? Be acceptable in thy sight, not in my sight, not in, in my brother in or my sister in sight, but in the eyesight, right? Oh Lord, I bear to, I father, his father, oh father of the house, I bear to, I bear to. I bear to my strength and my redeemer. Now, everyone who has tried it, Ayabingi, you know saying, doesn't know these words. You said, doesn't know these words already. You know, may the words of I and I heart and the meditation of I and I heart, heart be humbly acceptable in thy sight. O Jah Rastafari, I and I strength and I and I redeemer. You get that word right there? I and I redeemer. Because the king of kings, Adamawi, Haila Shalase, he is our kinsman, and he is I and I redeemer according to the natural, the Beta Israel. Yet it is his Christ, Yeshua HaMoshiach, he is the redeemer of our soul. Now, folks will say, well, what's the difference? Well, study your Bible. You know what I'm saying? When you study your Bible, you'll recognize that. Then you can receive the full testimony, the truthful testimony of Rastafari. Now, with that being said, the words, you understand, our words are very, very important. You understand how we use our words. Because it says elsewhere in the Psalms, some use their word like sharp swords. This is why we have to put on the full armor, as we was reading for brethren and certain ones, that full armor. You understand, that full armor, the helmet of salvation, that, that, that breastplate, which is Yeshua of righteousness. You, you know, because people shoot out words like fiery darts. You have that in the shield of faith. You understand? And, and don't forget that sword. You, you have to be girded. You understand? Have, have your, your feet shod. You understand? Don't worry about wearing, wearing um, Air Jordans. We're not talking about on that level. We're talking metaphysical, spiritual. Your feet shod. Remember, your feet shod with the gospel, which is the good news of shalom, the good news of salam, the gospel of peace. You understand? And when you sort of think and recognize that full armor, how it works in the spiritual, you understand? Then a lot of the fiery darts, it's easy to handle it. It's not going to affect your heart. You understand? Because, uh, uh, yo, uh, there's, a, there's a lot of stuff and, uh, going on. You understand? That, that has no business. And we're not talking about little just personal stuff, but stuff that is so blatantly from, from, from the jump. Yes, Rastafari, but then that's not what his majesty, that's not what, my, that's not what our father teaches. Where do you get that from? You understand? You remember what Christ said in chapter 11 concerning John the Baptist, right? And, and let, let's just point this out right here. Um, chapter 11 concerning John the Baptist. Right, some say likened to Marcus Garvey, but 11 and 12 says, And from the days of John the Baptist until now, until now, from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven, he said the kingdom of God, there's a distinction. He says the kingdom of heaven, the Mengishta Samayat, suffereth violence, and the violent take it by force. 
Now, if you look at Bamarinya, it, it, it more connotates, you can call it violence, but it's like pushiness. There's a pushing, there's, a, there, there's like a jostling to get into Jod's gate. Because Babel can also mean Bob Ale is the gate of God. So outside of Jod's gate, there's always everybody want to get in, but, you know, you have to come in in order. You know what I'm saying? And you also have to say, well, why are you here? Well, because I received that invitation. So full of compassion. That's why I'm here. You know what I'm saying? Other than just to, you know, just to see the wedding and so forth and so on. But they don't have that garment. They don't have their garment on, and they're going to be speechless. You understand? When the, when the king says, will you dishonor my son like this? And, and then they'll be like, it's not having a wedding robe on. They'll be like, wedding robe? What's a wedding robe? It's speaking about putting on Yeshua. Putting on Christ, you understand? Know putting on that robe of righteousness. So not just speaking in the physical, firstly in the spiritual, then in the soul or psychical, or you call it psychological, and then we're dealing with the carbon, organic, material world, the body. You know, then that's the order of the King of Kings for Salase, for for the Trinity, because man is a Trinity made in the image and after the likeness of our world Memphis produced. All right? Yet he has a spirit, soul, and body. All right? So words are just very, just think about that. Words are very, we say word, sound. Word, sound, and power. And, and, and if you look at the word sound, if you look up the word sound in the scriptures, it says we should be, have a sound doctrine. And if one's go away from sound teaching, you know what I'm saying? And then you look up the word sound, Bamarinya. In the heart of the Metzav Kedus of Negus and Neges, you find that the word sound means healthy. So know that Rastafari always in its true foundation and foundation speak on healthiness. Not just physical healthiness, but spiritual healthiness, psychological healthiness. So where did all this sickness come from? It came from going astray. You understand? From the way. You understand? Disciple, discipline in the future church. Discipline in the future church. Stay tuned. Shalom. Rastafari.